Hi, this is problem number 10 on equilibrium of forces and this is the problem on sphere. Okay, actually in equilibrium of forces means uh, in problems of equilibrium of forces you will get two varieties of problems. One is uh, forces on uh, problems on cables. Okay, problems on cables in the previous uh, uh, lecture videos uh, we have solved all these problems on cables. Now we will start solving the second variety of uh, problems that is problems on spheres. Okay, problems on spheres. Just we will go through the problem. A sphere weighing 100 Newton is fitted in a right angled notch as shown in figure. If all contact surfaces are smooth, determine the reaction at the contact surfaces. See this sphere and its weight is how much? 100 Newton. Its weight is 100 Newton. 100 Newton is fitted in a right angled notch as shown in figure. If all contact surfaces are smooth, determine the reaction at the contact surface. See, as this sphere is resting on these two contact surfaces A and B, there will be reactions induced at contact surfaces. We have to find those reactions. Okay. There will be reaction induced at contact surface A reaction at A and there will be reaction induced at contact surface B. We have to find reaction developed at contact surfaces A and B. That is what the question here. Okay. Now the first step is to write the reactions that we have already done it. Okay. Next step is to calculate the horizontal inclination of the reactive forces or reactions. Okay. For that you just draw one horizontal here. Draw an horizontal here. Draw an horizontal at contact surface A also. Okay. Now we have to find horizontal inclination of RB and horizontal inclination of RA. Okay. Means we need this angle. This angle. Okay. So we, we know that the inclination of the plane, this plane is 30 degree. Same angle will be there here. 30 degree only. 30 degree. Okay. And here also same thing. We have 60 degree as inclination of the inclined plane with the x-axis. Same angle will come. That is 60 degree, 60 degree. Now we need inclination of RA with the x axis and inclination of RB with the x axis. And remember, whenever there is reaction induced at the contact surface, always that reaction will be perpendicular to the plane of the support. Whatever the reaction induced at the contact surfaces when the sphere rest, is resting on an inclined plane. Always whatever the reaction developed are perpendicular to the plane of support. Always they are perpendicular to the plane of support. Okay. Therefore, this overall angle is 90. Okay. This overall angle is 90. Out of 90, if you deduct 30, you will get horizontal inclination of RB with the x axis that is 60 degree. Similarly, on the other side, overall angle, this overall angle is 90, 90 minus 60, you will get 30 degree as horizontal inclination of RA. So, this is the second step. Okay, first step is to write the reactions at all the contact surfaces. Second step is to find the horizontal inclination of all the inclined reactions. Okay. Now the third step is to write the free body diagram. Okay, free body diagram means it, it is a diagram which represents the various forces acting on the system. Okay, if you write the free body diagram now, it will be uh, helpful in doing the calculations. Okay, it will, it will uh, make easy to do the calculations. Therefore, we will write the free body diagram. So here total in the system, how many forces are there? So there are three forces. One is self weight of the sphere that is 100 Newton reaction at A 
reaction had to be there are three forces in this system okay now i'll write the free body diagram for this system first i will write the self weight free body diagram shortly we will call it as fbd free body diagram it is the diagram which represents various forces acting on the system the self weight of the sphere always it will act in act along the direction of gravity means in vertical downward direction always the weight of the sphere will be there or weight of any uh, things will be there any material will be there therefore the self weight always acts in the vertical downward direction along the direction of gravity it will act therefore i'll write a downward force vertical downward force of 100 newton now i have written self weight of the sphere then there is reaction at a how it is acting it is acting in a right top along right top corner it is acting along right top corner so while writing ra from this point only from this point only from away from the joint you need to write that reaction ra ra and there is reaction at contact surface b okay how it is acting it is acting in left acting along left top corner again while writing from this point away from the joint you have to write the force rb okay this is how you need to write the free body diagram if you are thorough in writing the free body diagram then it the calculation becomes very easy okay remember always you should write the force away from the joint and don't write towards the joint like this rb so it becomes difficult to do the calculations okay we can also write like this but don't write that R always write the forces away from the joint okay away from the joint okay so we are applying principle of transmissibility of forces okay if you apply the forces okay this so you can apply the force like this also and you can replace the same force with same magnitude at any other point that is what the principle of transmissibility that we have seen at the initial stage of uh, uh, these videos right now you draw one horizontal okay draw one horizontal here so we know the horizontal inclination of uh, rb inclination of rb with the uh, x axis that is 60 degree write that angle here 60 degree okay then horizontal inclination of ra is how much 30 degree 30 degree which means uh, if i extend this force now so here you will get 30 degree now the same angle i have written okay don't get confused whatever the horizontal inclination of 30 degree you have write it here okay now the overall angle on this side is 90 minus 30 120 on the other side 90 plus 60 150 so the remaining angle will be how much 360 or 360 minus 150 minus 120 360 minus 150 minus 120 90 degree is the remaining angle 90 degree okay now just apply the Lamis theorem you will get the reaction at Ra and Rb applying Lamis theorem applying Lamis theorem Rb divided by sin 120 divided by sin 120 is equal to 100 divided by sin 90 100 divided by sin 90 is equal to Ra divided by sin 150. Ra divided by sin 150. 
consider first and second equation rb is equal to 100 sin 120 divided by sin 90 by this we will get the reaction at b that is 86.6 newton we consider second and the third equation therefore ra is equal to 100 sin 150 divided by sin 90 therefore reaction at a that you get is uh, 50 newton okay to this uh, we have determined reaction at the contact surfaces a and b r a and r b we got both the values okay to this uh, we are done with uh, this problem thank you